They're out here in the courtyard today to observe the solar eclipse. The, the one, first one we are actually able to see in within 60 years. Well, we're experiencing a solar eclipse where the moon comes in front of the sun. We're not experiencing a total eclipse, just an and annular, I think it's how it's pronounced. We're experiencing a, maybe a lifetime experience, and especially in school. I, some schools are closing down, but I'm glad that this one isn't. And the, this is when the uh, moon crosses over the sun. Today we're out here watching the solar eclipse, and we're learning how the, the moon passes over the sun, and the orbit of it, and the, the, to, the totality. Okay, so today our students at Rollite Middle School have the opportunity to watch a solar eclipse. And a solar eclipse happening in the area that you're living happens about once every 300 years. Well, I mean, if you look, the kids are having fun, and actually they're really learning. These are where memories are made. For the most part, the students were pretty excited about the solar eclipse. There were a couple that were concerned about the glasses because of all the hysteria that's been on the Internet, Facebook, and on the news about so many glasses being recalled. So for some, we did have to... Um, we showed them where we bought them from and how they're certified and we went through NASA and we talked about the ones why they were recalled because people ask for documentation stating that prove that you are safe and that you have these filters and they couldn't and that's why they were recalled and our glasses did not fall under that um, issue. So other than that, once we talked about it and whatnot, they were pretty, pretty safe about it but everybody was really excited to take advantage of this once in a lifetime opportunity. NASA was in view, um, interviewing some of their um, scientists and they said really what inspired them was the first time they watched Eclipse. So hopefully we are inspiring some future scientists. We ordered our glasses in July. We knew it was coming, um, we've known it was coming, and so I think unfortunately a lot of school districts, especially you know, if you hadn't planned ahead, glasses became um, very expensive and hard to get. So um, we even talked a little bit about supply and demand. When the supply was low in July and people weren't thinking about it, that's when we got our glasses at a discounted price. Um, I think somebody said they were going for about $50 right now on the um, internet for people, you know, who waited to that last minute. If you don't wear the glasses, you can damage your eyes, and then, like, when you look up at the sun, the spots that are in your eyes, it'll be a few days before the spots go away. It's really cool to um, learn about a solar eclipse because it only happens um, every so often. Well, basically, we're learning about the solar eclipse and watching what it does. Uh, we are out here looking or having a party and viewing the solar eclipse with our special glasses and having a lot of fun. Actually, the solar eclipse is actually part of our eighth grade science standards and the real reason or way that kids understand science is by doing it and it's just such a rare event so about four years ago we started talking about when the great American eclipse was going to come and so really planning started about four years ago. Okay. Um, we're having a solar eclipse today and the school took us out here to um, watch it. What we should be concerned about is that the fact that if you look at it without these glasses right here, that your eyes can get burned and you can go blind.
Well, I do want to be a scientist, but I don't really want to be an astronomer. It's not... I think this is very interesting, um, but I just don't really want to go... I don't want to be an astronomer. Okay, I'm eighth grade language arts teacher, and I think this is really... Um, pretty incredible that we've got all the kids out here for this natural phenomenon. As a teacher, it is a little nerve-wracking to have the kids all over the place um, with um, not no boundaries, but with limited boundaries. But most of them are really, you know, just kind of in awe of the phenomenon that's going on. In the last eclipse, I was two, so this is the first time that I've ever witnessed anything like this, and so it's really a neat experience to be able to witness it live and not have to be in the classroom. The wonderful thing about today is that our county has, has supported our science department and they have allowed this day to happen and the students are out here and enjoying this where other counties maybe have closed schools today. We know today and we're, that the students are out and able to see this event and they are able to discuss it with their science teachers and, and be encouraged. And so we appreciate Washington County School Board for allowing this and the principals at our schools for encouraging the students to, to jump into science and to learn about science and, and to be involved in their community. We're going to get between 80 and 90 percent totality here. Uh, probably closer to 87% and we're just about to that point right now so it's getting very exciting around here at Rolac. Okay, today we are watching the eclipse and the proper way to do that is put your glasses on before you look up at the sun. Um, actually, in July, our budget runs over, and so in July, Ms. Ram came up to make sure that the glasses were ordered. Um, we had, uh, yes, this weekend I was at Sam's Club getting some water. We had Mr. G uh, Coach Gates was helping ice down the water. Um, the whole week, we've been doing morning announcements, kind of talking about some of the myths associated with the solar eclipse, as well as some things to do to keep safety. Um, a lot of times people thought that the sun is more dangerous during the eclipse, but it's really how our bodies react to it. Um, it's very hot, even though that the moon's crossing over the sun, it's very, very hot. Um, I think it's really cool because we get to experience it while we're in school, and it only happens so much. Well, this is actually something we teach in the eighth grade curriculum here at Washington County Schools. We talk about solar eclipses and lunar eclipses, and it's different to see it in a book or to even see it in a simulation online tutorial. So to actually come outside and be able to see it in person and with our cool solar eclipse glasses, it takes the learning to the whole another level. And some of them may end up eventually working in some sort of field of engineering with NASA or going into space sciences. And that's what we want. We want to encourage students to go into these different types of fields and just like making the connection much more real. And that's sometimes we have difficulty with in science because so, so much of it occurred so long ago or we read about what other people did and now we get to be the ones experiencing science and doing it. I'm very thankful for Washington County Schools for being able to give us the opportunity to view the solar eclipse because as you know many schools didn't have this opportunity and you know I think that's pretty awesome. We're looking at the solar eclipse and how the moon can go between the sun and the earth and block the sun and make a shadow. There's no reason why someone should not get to experience this awesome opportunity. Um, I told someone earlier that uh, today I'm a scientist. I'm geeking out because I think this is an event that no one should miss. 
Well, what, one of the things that we're doing, astronomy, study the size, the skies, celestial, everything. Our lives revolve around that. We, we have reached the point now that we don't have that. But you have to remember that in times past, astronomy, everything is all about math projections, the things. And so when you start looking at what we're talking about here, actually this eclipse covers so many areas of science that we have. The importance part, history, art, literature. You go back studying every culture. You know, there's things that's attributed to this. The, the math piece, how do you project one? How do you get one right? How do you track stars? And, and in times past, there's been other cultures who've done it very well. And we find this exciting. This is an exciting event to be a part of, to be able to participate in, to have with our students. You know, everything is good as far as when you're able to share the experiences. And it's important to us as a school district and the schools that, that we're here for that. You're watching Real Florida Magazine.